The industry niggas keep talking about Hey guys, it's Nish rap. here um, from South London. No in the I'm 21 years old. I'm original from Ecuador. I got into boxing because one of my good friends, Aggie, bought me the opportunity to fight on Sunday Smoke. He told me about it. First, I thought it was a joke. I said, you know what? Let me just fight somebody. I don't really care. I didn't have nothing else to do. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity. Close fight for the winner by split decision. Then after that, as soon as I got my following up on Instagram and TikTok, that's when Aggie told me you should take this more seriously. It can take you places if you take it seriously. I, I can see potential in you. So that's why I wanted to take boxing seriously. What boxing experience do I have? I started this like basically four months ago, literally. I didn't have no ambition of doing boxing before. Like I thought about it, I said, yeah, I wanted to do training, just do boxing and stuff. But I never took it seriously. Four months ago, when Aggie told me to fight Cheyenne, I said, you know what? Do it. That's the only experience I had four months ago. Old school step, original creffer, now we just fund them. Made 95, I'm a 95, so you can say 110. Yeah. I'm like M1, Scoot. they ain't even seen one M. I hate uh, man and one skin. Uh, Why you think we just run them? You're not stronger than me, Shai, you trust me. Nothing. You're not stronger than me, Shai, trust me. My second fight that I have with Riri, she could punch. You can't punch. You can't punch either. You can't punch. You can't punch. I'm telling you that. You cannot punch. You cannot punch either, bro. You cannot punch, Shai. You cannot punch either, bro. Big Riley, the one and only. I'm from Lambeth, West Norwood. You already know what I do. Left or Riley. Obviously, I've been training big niche. That's what we're going to start calling her, big niche. You understand? Because look, she's in shape. We're in shape. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter who she's going to verse. Like, it doesn't even matter. Do you know what I mean? She's too fast for you. She's training when you lot are sleeping. You understand? That's all that needs to be said. So all you get, like all that chat, chat, that yappy, 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 yappy. Talk with these, innit? Talk with these, Reed, boy. You know what I'm saying? Because we're coming for you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, I'm, I'm the director of Community Sparks Change. Like, we work with children. We train them how to box, keep them out of gang violence, knife crime, and just all sorts of violence like that. Like, we want to put them on, to, on a straight path. As, as you know, Nish, I'm training Nish. She's a perfect example I can show for the youth. Show them how to keep, keep, keep them off the streets and don't have to walk around with a knife to feel safe. Use your fists, man. Like, back in the days, we used to use our fists, you understand? People, people weren't scared to get licked. You get licked, you know, pick yourself up, hug, and do what you got to do afterwards, you understand? Simple as that. Yeah, I met Nish a couple months ago through a mutual friend, Aggie, my guy Aggie. And yeah, like since then, like we, we've just been training for a few months, like doing all different types of drills, jabbing, movement, endurance, running, we've been sprinting, and like we just developed like not only like a boxing, like coaching, mentorship type of thing, but like like a friendship as well. Like she's a really cool person, you understand? And, like she's really got a Powerful story, do you know what I mean? That's why I really want to get on her side and like, we, we, we're going to show people what we've been working on for these few months, you know? Trust me, Wicked and Bad's going to be mad. Trust me, trust me. Oh. <laughs> what I think of the matchup? There is no matchup, man. Niche is everything, boy. Niche is gonna, boy. I, I don't want to say too much, but she's in shape. She's gonna show you on the night, man. That's all she has to be said. Like, we're not gonna go around yapping, 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 talking, 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 because we know that's what you girls are gonna do. You understand? She don't do that. She's just gonna get in there, and knock you out, and then we're gonna go for a meal afterwards. Simple as that. Yeah, get a drink. You know what I'm saying? You girl are light. Zell, this shit crazy. All right, big knees. We just finished our warm up. We're about to train later. You understand? Yeah, Let's guys. Go. We just finished our warm up here. We just had our little session here in the park where I come every morning to train. And I'm ready. This Are September ready? is going to be good. We're ready. Aye. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay guys, this is my area where I've been living for four years. I originally came from Ecuador, moved to Spain when I was three. Then after that, I moved to London when I was 10 years old. Then I lived in Peckham for like five years, I would say. Then I moved to Stockholm. So from Peckham, I used to 
go to school there, secondary school and stuff. I struggled to learn English because I said, like I said, I came here when I was 10. I didn't know nothing. I went to primary school in Camberwell. Then I went to obviously study in Peckham. I chose the wrong friends. I had a lot of struggles. I didn't go to school much. I had a tough grow up teenage life to be fair. I was in the streets since I, since I was 14 years old. And on top of that, I didn't have a good relationship at, at my house. So I was living with a couple of my friends since I was 14. They moved to different places. I was in care at the age of 16. I was living with my friend after that for like three, four months. Then I met my boyfriend around 2018. Wait guys, because I needed him to be in this flipping. Hello, come on. Okay, in 2018, <laughs> I met my boyfriend. I was living with him for like three, four years. And we had a struggle. He helped me a lot throughout the years, yeah. brought myself up, met a couple of people from his side. I met Aggie, thanks to him. Aggie brought me into this game. He told me about Sunday Smoke. He brought me the opportunity to fight Cheyenne in Sunday Smoke. And that's where boxing came into my life. Mm -hmm. And I took that opportunity because I was not doing nothing with my life at the moment. Yeah, it was COVID time. Yeah, we time. a bit of a dark place where we met. Yeah. Uh, her housing situation wasn't the best, so it was kind of like couch surfing a bit. It was, at the time, I had a lot of... Um, that way. Oh, I had a lot of like bad we friends. Go that way. So at the time, I had a lot of bad friends and whatnot. So we kind of helped each other get out of that place. Yeah. Uh, we, we joined a college course together. And then basically... So yeah, we've been helping, yeah, we'll be helping each other out. So then when Aggie came on the picture, he bought me the opportunity to box in. And I took it because COVID times, I didn't have nothing to do. Yeah. I was just at home. I didn't have no job. Yeah. I didn't have no ambitions or anything. So you know, I said, you know what? Let me try something new. And to be fair, I wanted to do boxing for a long time, but I just didn't take it serious. And when he gave me the opportunity to go on Sunday Smoke, that's where everything started. And I didn't think it would take me far, but when I done it, it felt good, to be fair. I grew up a big following in my Instagram, on TikTok as well. And that obviously opened my eyes to see the opportunity, the big opportunity that Tyrone and Bouncer gave me and Aggie, because he was the one that introduced me to it. And here I am now. Ready, yeah? I had two fights on Sunday Smoke, one charity fight. And now I'm on Wicked and Bad in literally less than three months. I done all this thanks to the people that I've been around me and the encouragement that they put me with as well. They've been encouraging me since the day I started boxing. So, yeah. Um, mentally, I am fully ready for September the 18th. It's gonna be my first knockout on Wicked and Bad 4, I'm going to be the first girl knocking someone out in that platform. So stay tuned for that. My opponent is not going to be ready for what's coming to her. So that's all I've got to say. You guys are going to see the progress in September the 18th. So be ready for that because I'm ready. And I hope everyone that comes to see me will be cheering me up and just have a good time. And hopefully, yeah, it's just going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> my message for my opponent for September the 18th is you better be ready because you don't know what's coming for you and I hope you understand that you should be training instead of drinking every day because look at me I'm in shape and I'm telling you now I'm gonna be ready for this fight you're gonna be my first knockout and I hope you're ready for that you understand <laughs>